Good morning, student. I hope you all are good. Today we are going to complete our second chapter, varying lifestyle in animals, in which we covered two topics in the last class. What was that? Feeding habit in animals, and another one is breathing habit in animals. Feeding habit in animals. Feeding habit in animals. What we studied, children, about the three types of animals who feed in different way or who take different way of food okay first one is herbivores herbivores who loves to eat or who eat only plants second is carnivores who eat only flesh after that third category is omnivore who love to eat both plants and animals in this feeding habit uh, of animals what we see that is some fishes who eat only flesh or who eat only uh love to eat, uh, love to kill another animal uh, another fishes by taking their food and uh, in which only one uh, which type of fishes comes shark and whale okay uh, another type of uh, birds we discuss about some birds who having a long neck and a long uh, leg okay why they having long neck actually this long neck help these type of birds to catch their prey or uh, to catch the fishes and they having a long leg why they having a long leg to walk easily on sand or mud okay after that we discuss about some insect who having a different type of mouth having a needle uh, shaped mouth or in uh, this uh, butterfly and all they having a coiled needle type of mouth which is called proboscis after that we studied about a breathing habit in animal breathing habit as we human uh, being having a lungs and nose for breathing process hai na for respiring for respiration so like that only some animals having different types of breathing organs in which we studied different types of breathing organs some animals uh, respire through body surface some animals Uh, respire through lungs and some animals like uh, the, mean some fishes fishes they use gills to respire and uh, spiracles uh, this cockroaches and house flies and mosquito these all are using this spiracles mosquito using proboscis for uh, breathing and uh, moist skin earthworm use moist their skin their moist skin for breathing after that now we are going to start our new topic which is movement in animals okay children movement in animals movement in animals movement in animals means when will move from one place to another for why these animals move from one place one place to another for in search of food and by uh, to protect themselves from enemies and to find shelter that's why these animals move from one place to another okay so now children take out page number 14 and put the date today is 24 now keep your pencil and copy with you now we'll start okay animals move from one place to another to find shelter as i said to in search of food and breeding places and to protect themselves from enemies okay these are the three uh, thing or what are the three situation for this animals move from one place to another different animals move in different ways different animals move in different ways some move very fast and some move very slow is it so the two these animals how they move as we human being having two legs is it so these animals having limbs what we are saying limbs four limbs and hind limbs four limbs and hind limbs what is this four limbs the two front limbs 
when they walk by their four legs the front two legs are called fore limbs and the back two legs are called hind limbs okay children camels goats horses lion tiger use their four limbs okay this cow and all having four legs now so uh, both uh, four legs are called fore limbs and hind limbs and front Uh, legs are front two legs are called fore limbs and the back two legs are called hind limbs okay children so these limbs they are used for walking and for running is it for walking and running animals like kangaroo and rabbit have strong hind limbs as you can see in the television and all this kangaroo uh, stand like this is it they stand like this so they use their back back two legs which is hind limbs okay they use their hind limb hind limbs strongly okay and rabbits rabbit also strong hind limbs which are longer uh, than their fore limbs their hind limbs are longer than fore limbs with the help of hind limbs these animals hop what is the meaning of hop means uchakna ye apne hind limbs se uchakte bhi hai isliye inka jo hind limbs hai they are very strong whose animals for uh, kangaroo and rabbit okay now in page number 15 now we reached in page number 15 human beings human beings walk or run with the help of their hind limbs this is our fore limbs and our leg is our hind limbs okay so we walk or run by our hind limbs okay so they use their fore limbs for holding the things which is our hand na this is called hind limbs we use our hind limbs for holding anything okay so and uh, doing many other work okay now we are moving to reptiles what is this reptiles children jo rengne wale keede makode ya janwar unko hum kehte hain reptiles rengne wale okay so reptiles are crawling crawling creatures crawling as i said rengne wale crawling means rengna hota hai so there are two types of reptiles reptiles are categorized into two types okay what is that uh reptiles like lizard chipkili and limbless like snakes as you seen this uh, um, lizard having their hind limbs and fore limbs but snakes not having any limbs is it so snakes have scales snakes having scales uske jo skin hote hain on the lower surface जब स्नेक स्क्रॉल क्राउल करते हैं तो उसके जो स्किन है एट द मीन्स व्हाट इज इन द हैविंग इन द लोअर सरफेस विच आर अटैच टू देयर मसल्स उनके मसल से वो स्केल्स जो है वो अटैच्ड है विच अटैच टू देयर मसल्स एंड लिम्स आल्सो एंड सो दे मूव विद द हेल्प ऑफ दी स्केल्स okay we studied about the human beings some animals like kangaroo and uh, uh, rabbit and some uh, cattle and all how they move they use their hind limbs and fore limbs and this kangaroo and rabbit use their hind limbs and human beings also use their hind limbs for walking and running uh, uh, sorry uh, fore limbs Uh, for limbs for uh, walking and running and hind limbs for holding anything and after that we are discussing about the uh, reptiles which use some reptiles like lizard and all they use their hind limbs and fore limbs both and snakes they are not having any limbs they use their scales for move- movement okay all insect now we are talking about insects all insects such as cockroaches and ants have six legs okay cockroaches and ants cheetah they having six legs 
they move on the ground with the help of legs they use their legs for the movement and grasshopper grasshopper grasshoppers have long grasshopper as you seen in the picture this is grasshopper okay grasshopper have long and strong hind legs with the help of which they hop these are the insect the insect they are not walking or running they also hop okay yeah you check now now some insects like mosquitoes house flies bees and butterflies how they move they can fly so they have wings which are different from the wings of birds butterfly and the bees they having a wings unke pankh hote hain but they are different from birds okay how the wings of insects are delicate jo bahut nazuk se hote hain okay and thin and made up of scales jo ki patle skin ke layer se inke jo wings hain wo bane hote hain but Uh, in contrast to this the wings of birds have feathers bones and strong muscles but as compared to uh, birds birds having strong wings okay why they have strong because it's a feather pankh hai ye and having a bones and muscles too ये दोनों अटैच होते हैं जिसके कारण ये बर्ड्स के विंग्स इंसेक्ट्स के विंग्स से ज्यादा स्ट्रॉगर होते हैं ओके चिल्ड्रन नाउ वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट नेक्स्ट कैटेगरी विच इज एक्वेटिक एनिमल्स एज आई टोल्ड यू एक्वेटिक एनिमल्स आर एनिमल्स हु लिव्स इन वाटर ओके सो एक्वेटिक एनिमल्स आर डिफरेंट ऑर्गन्स टू स्विम इन वॉटर दे हैविंग डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ ऑर्गन्स different types of body parts to move on water now we'll study what are the different body parts this aquatic animals have so most of the aquatic animals have streamlined body then what is this streamlined body children how this fish having their body this type of body this fish having is it this body is called streamlined okay this body surface is called streamlined which is broad from the front and back side is it's somehow what it is uh curved okay it's called streamlined body which help them how you you observe that boat or a ship it also it's from the front it's a narrow ship and after that it's broad and again at back it's a narrow one so actually this is called streamlined and this streamlined body help the aquatic animals to move in water okay so Mm, fish have three types of fins fish is having also a fins as i drawn in the picture so uh, this fish is having a fins which uh, which help them to balance and change the direction while swimming in water okay children and turtles turtles kachwa and seals and penguins have paddle they having paddle like limbs which is called flippers underline this line children these some uh, highlighted words what it is called please underline these sentences okay so turtles seals and penguins having uh, aquatic animals having a streamlined body for move in water which help them to move in water and some uh, aquatic animals like turtles seals seals and uh, seal you know beta what is this seal actually this is seal 
okay black colored one animal is there this is seal and penguins and uh, other fishes that you know very well turtles also you i think uh, seen all of you so turtles seals penguins have paddle like limbs which is called flippers they use flippers to push water they push water and swim means this um, aquatic animals ha having flippers which help them to move in water and uh, fishes other fishes having streamlined body which help them to move in water jellyfish jellyfish i think you all observe or seen in the discovery channel and all so jellyfish and octopus which having eight uh, tentacles octopus have tentacles tentacles and starfish also having two feet starfish also having the star the starfish also having this tube like body so this uh, uh, starfish move through two feet frogs have frogs have webbed feet frog having webbed feet and which they use push the water this webbed feet help the frog to push the water while swimming okay children and they also have long limbs they also having long limbs when they walk now this limbs get stretched you know so they also having long limbs to jump on land okay so aquatic birds like some aquatic birds are also there like duck and have webbed feet like frog only this duck also having a webbed feet to swim in water okay so different types of movement we see in this uh, different types of animals as i said ki these animals having different types of movement some moving very fast some moving very slow some hopping some uh, crawling hai na so these are different types of movement we found in animals some are swimming some are flying is it some are uh, what we are saying they having a, a streamlined body they having a tube like body different types of uh, movement these animals having reptiles having different movement aquatic animals having different movement terrestrial animals are having different uh, movement amphibians having amphibians those who uh, can live in water as well as on land also which are called amphibians okay now birds fly with the help of wings we all know birds fly with the help of wings which are modified into four limbs which are modified into four limbs birds having two legs uh, two legs which is four limbs only and their tail helps in changing the direction as i said ki fishes having fins which help them to change the direction as this birds also having a wings which change the direction okay while flying on the land birds move with their hind limbs okay they are moving with their hind limbs when they walk on the land these are the different types of movement we found in animals okay now we will see about the migratory birds what we are going to see about the migratory birds migratory birds i'm sorry migratory animals do you know children what is the meaning of migratory do you know i know you people know very well about the migratory word migratory if will move for, from one place to another for different condition for different condition for in search of food for uh, keep themselves uh, safe for this this animals get migrate from one place to another okay the movement of large groups the movement of large groups of animals from one place to another now we reached in chapter page number 18 children okay so the movement of 
large group of animals from one place to another uh, at a particular time at a particular time is known as migration it's called migration and they migrate to avoid some unfavorable condition as i said it depends on some unfavorable condition why they are moving for some way okay so what is that first one we can say in search of food another or to have safe place for breeding for breeding we can also say this bird move or migrate from one place to another but they are in large group okay not only one or two birds they are moving in a group from one place to another many birds fish some insects and few mammals migrate we know about some birds hai na aapko pata hoga kuch birds hain jo hamare country mein garmi ke samay ek jagah se jab dusri jagah aate hain ya thand mein aate hain to we know about the bird but beta some insects and few mammals also move from for from one place to another when the conditions become favorable jab wo condition kya hota hai jab favorable ho jata hai then they it suits that condition on that time they move their own place okay they return to their original place the interesting example of migration is the arctic what we are saying arctic tern arctic tern a migratory bird hai which travels from arctic which is north pole region to antarctica which is south pole region covering a distance of 175000 they covered 175000 km in a period of half a year travels back again in other half of the year can you imagine this much long distance they are cover from one place to another for their breeding and for the search of food hai na for maintaining their uh, unfavorable condition they are moving from one place to another some other migratory animals i will say siberian crane uh, migrate in search of food and eel is a snake like fish which uh, spend its life in fresh water on attaining maturity the eels migrate long distance in spawn in the sea and adult die after spawning and this eggs hatch and larva come larva come out which drift back to the river after that monarch butterfly also migrate from canada to mexico okay and elephant also migrate in groups in search of food so these are the interesting facts or interesting topic we studied in worrying lifestyle in animal okay children so chapter 2 also completed i will send you the question answers of this chapter in adisap so you see and write it very correctly and clearly okay another thing is that before uh, starting this second chapter first make sure that first chapter is completed then only you will start the second chapter okay children thank you